Welcome to Power Yoga, No Excuses, and day eight of the Empowered series, the beginning of week two. Let's get started in child's pose. So in the Shaolin tradition, they have an expression that's called eat bitter. In the Navy SEAL tradition, they have an expression that's known as embrace the suck. And in the Tibetan tradition, they have an expression where they pray for challenges. So in other words, I want you to embrace adversity and I want you to have the perspective and the perception that challenges are opportunities for growth on our yoga mat, off of our yoga mat and in life. So when things get fierce, when things get intense, just know that's where the gold lies. From here, go ahead and come all the way up to tabletop pose, all fours position. Lift that left leg off the ground, parallel to the floor, extend that right arm straight out in front of you. And I say that because inevitably, as we climb this mountain for 30 days, there's going to be those moments where you're not going to want to show up. There's going to be those moments within a class where you're really, really struggling. And it's all about your mind state. Take an inhale, draw the limbs out. Elbow to knee, exhale, curl in. Inhale, reach out. And exhale, round in. One more like that. Inhale, reach. And then exhale, curl. Inhale, reach out. Tabletop pose, other side, sunbird, lift the right leg up, extend the left arm straight out in front of you, breath in the flow. Inhale, reach, exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, expand, exhale, contract. Inhale, reach, one more. Exhale, strong core. Inhale, sunbird, and exhale, tabletop pose. Step back to plank, upper push-up position. Take an inhale there, and then exhale, lower down. Cobra on the inhale, glide your chest up, and then exhale back, downward facing dog. Couple of breaths there. Checking in. Every day you get onto your yoga mat is a different story. See what's going on today. Another day. Another down dog. A down dog a day keeps those doctors away. Take an inhale, press the hips back, and then exhale, walk your feet forward to the top of your yoga mat. Flat back on the inhale. Forward fold on the exhale. Inhale, rise and circle both arms up, interlace the fingers, palms up to the sky. Side bend to the right on the exhale, lean. Come back up on the inhale, and then hands behind the head and neck on the exhale as you bend the elbows. Straighten the arms on the inhale, and then lean to the left side on the exhale. Come back up on the inhale, and then fold over and down on the exhale, feeling that hamstring stretch. Flat back, inhale, spinal length. Step back to plank pose, and then lower down on the exhale, your weight forward. And then on the inhale, lift the chest up to your own degree, not too high, not too low, just right. And then exhale back to downward facing dog. Good, now. Let's just flow through that a couple more rounds, gently waking the body up, getting that energy moving and flowing. Inhale, press back, and exhale, top of your yoga mat. Flat back, inhale, forward fold, exhale. Inhale, rise, and sweep, arms up, interlace, palms to the sky, and then lean over to the right side, exhale. Back up on the inhale, hands behind the head and neck, exhale. Straighten the arms on the inhale, and then lean to the left side on the exhale. Inhale, come back up, 
and then exhale fold over and down hit that sweet spot flat back inhale breathe to the bottoms of your lungs and then step back to plank on the exhale lower inhale arch the back and then exhale back downward face the dog one more of those inhale breath leads the way exhale breath movement and mind marry together inhale it's like a marriage ceremony exhale of every facet of you inhale rise steady and smooth take it over to the right side getting long through the left side inhale back up exhale elbows flare inhale straighten and stretch exhale lean to the left inhale back up and then on the exhale fold it down flat back inhale step back lower down on your exhale inhale sternum up shoulders slide down the back and exhale you got it downward facing dog now right leg up inhale and then right knee right arm exhale touch inhale right leg back exhale right knee left arm cross inhale right leg back exhale knee to the middle inhale right leg back and then exhale right foot flows all the way forward to the top of your yoga mat stay on your back toes and then crescent pose go ahead and rise all the way up take a moment find your balance get steady take another inhale reach up find your full expression and then warrior two on the exhale phase one find the alignment phase two find your breath phase three let go and let be these poses are just the form and the form is there to help you connect to the form lists flip the right palm up to the sky reverse the warrior left hand back outer left leg try not to straighten that right leg but keep bending that right knee deep so you eat bitter you look for the challenge you look for the bitterness you look for the intensity take one last inhale there and then back to warrior two good right form on top of right thigh left arm straight up to the sky modified version or unmodified version right hand comes down full side angle you choose the back foot strong open up the left chest and then extend that left arm forward and out creating that beautiful diagonal from the back left blade of your foot all the way through your fingertips so you're using your strength to create length give that one last reach and then back to reverse on the inhale and then vinyasa lower down on the exhale inhale cobra or up dog and then exhale back to downward dog left leg up inhale left elbow exhale inhale back exhale right arm cross inhale back exhale to the belly inhale draw back and exhale flow it top of the mat at your leisure go ahead and rise both arms to the sky where every movement comes from a place deep inside of you what makes it yoga is not what you do it's how you do what you do take an inhale there in crescent and then warrior two back foot flat both arms get set muhammad ali said i hated every minute of training but don't quit suffer now and live the rest of your life as a champion you see sometimes you have to give up a temporary pleasure for something of an infinite measure you might want to sleep in you might want to eat that pint of ice cream but that's not the champion <laughs> You got to eat better, right? You got to show up. You got to get on your mat. You got to move things through things that are challenging and difficult and hard. Flip that left palm up, reverse that warrior, and then breathe into the left ribs. 
take a huge inhale there, deep in what you got. And then exhale back to warrior two. Left forearm on top of left thigh, right arm straight up to the sky, modified, or hand all the way down onto the ground. Pick your medicine. Keep in mind, one person's medicine is another person's poison. So you're never comparing yourself to what it is that Travis is doing or somebody else is doing. What's right for you and can you honor that? Open up that right chest, extend that right arm forward and out, extended side angle pose. Give it a big, beautiful reach and then reverse that warrior, inhale, come back and then exhale, get out of dodge, vinyasa, lower down. Inhale, cobra, upper dog, and then exhale back, downward facing dog. And guess what? We're gonna flow that baby now. Let's pick up the pace, still moving with grace. Here we go in the flow, right leg up, inhale. Right arm, exhale, touch. Inhale back, exhale, left arm, cross. Inhale back, exhale to the belly. Inhale, extend back, exhale, top of the mat. Inhale, crescent, rise up, and exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse, exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, back to reverse, and then exhale, vinyasa, lower down with strength. Inhale, bend the spine with gentleness. Exhale, down dog, inhale, left leg up. Exhale, left arm touch. Inhale, pull back. Exhale, right arm touch. Inhale, draw back. Exhale, knee to core. Inhale, pull back. Exhale, top of the mat. Inhale, rise, light and free. Exhale, warrior two, wide. Inhale, lean back. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, back to reverse. And exhale, vinyasa. It's a beautiful flow. Inhale, it's a beautiful day. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, right arm touch. Inhale, yeah, we're still doing it. Exhale, other side. Inhale, draw back. Exhale, down the middle. Inhale for length. Exhale for depth. Inhale, up for height. Exhale, spread it wide. Inhale, come on back. Exhale, now reach it forward. Good, inhale, you know it. Embrace the bitter. Exhale, lower down with control. Inhale, loving that flow. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, left arm touch. Inhale, invigoration. Exhale, awakening. Inhale, draw back. Exhale, down the middle. Inhale, pierce it. Exhale, flow it. Inhale, arms through the sky. Exhale, open wide. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, extended side angle. Good, inhale, come back and stretch it. Exhale, lower down and flow it. Good, inhale, now open and spread it. Exhale, you made it. Down dog. Take a huge inhale through the nose and out the mouth, exhale, let it go. Woo. Good, we're awake now. All right, you guys, let's move on. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, right foot top of the mat, back foot flat. Set your right hand inside of your right foot and reach your left arm to the sky. You've been here, side angle. So now let's explore some new terrain, shall we? Left hand around behind the lower back. You could stay here, it's a half bind. Those of you that wanna eat more bitter, you're gonna reach your right hand around and you're gonna clasp your fingers, your hand, your wrist, and come into a full wrap. And this is pretty bitter, but through the bitterness, you're still breathing free, remember? Your breath is the foundation of the class. Now, right hand down, left arm to the sky, rise up, warrior two inhale, 
Straighten that right leg on the exhale. Scoot the back foot in a little bit closer. Line the feet up side to side. And then inhale, reach out through that front right arm. Left hip kicks back. And then triangle pose. Right hand down, left arm up. Press your right big toe firm into the mat. Engage the inner right foot. And then roll the left chest open. And then extend your left arm forward and out. Extended triangle. Now, if you want to amplify that, it's easy. Just take your bottom right arm and lift that up and out. And you'll feel how that turns the dial of intensity up. But remember, you get to choose where you turn the dial. You want more? Bring it on. You want less? That's cool too. You want to leave it alone, keep it where it's at? It's totally up to you. Now, right hand down, left arm to the sky, inhale. And then bring your left hand to your left hip. Start to bend your right knee on an inhale. I'm going to get my block here. And then I'm going to slide into half moon using that block to find my integrity within the pose. Take the left arm up to the sky. Half moon balancing pose. Bottom leg strong. All extended limbs long. Mind calm. Keep breathing. Good. Now option to bend the back left foot in and reach back and grab that with your left hand for a chapasana, which is just a really, really sweet hip stretch, quadriceps stretch. And isn't it fantastic how yoga gets us stronger, but it also gets us more flexible at the same time. Now left leg back, left arm to the sky, little bend in that right knee, but left foot higher and then float step back to a warrior two. Inhale, come back to reverse. And then exhale, cartwheel the hands down, come back to plank. Uh-oh, it's time to embrace the suck. Feet together, pivot onto the outer edge of the right foot, stack the left foot on top. We call this the side plank. But that's just the beginning. See if you can lift your left foot up a foot or two. Good, now see if you can bend your left heel in towards your left hip. See if you can reach back and grab that left foot with your left hand. Similar to what you did in Chapasana, but now doing it in side plank pose. What a beautiful experience. <laughs> little arm balance, a little strength. Good, left leg back, left arm up, inhale. And left hand down to the ground, exhale. Good, now. Setting up for three yogi style push-ups. Inhale down, exhale up. Inhale down, exhale up. Inhale down, exhale up. Inhale plank and exhale lower. Inhale cobra, exhale down dog. Inhale left leg up, exhale left foot top of the mat. Back foot flat, left hand. Inside of left foot, right arm up. You could even modify left form on top of left eye. That works here too. And then right hand around behind the lower back. You could stay there or take the left hand, reach it around, grab what you can get, come into the wrap. And I know for myself in these binds and these wraps, it's where I got to be on guard that I don't allow my breath to become constricted. So I got to put a little bit more effort, a little bit more juice into the breathing. And the breath is like the catalyst that leads me through the pose in a way that's somewhat dignified and noble, just like in life. Left hand down, right arm to the sky. Rise up, warrior two. Straighten that left knee, left leg. Bring the back foot in a little bit closer. Triangle pose, inhale, reach. Exhale, left hand down. Right arm to the sky, outer left hip tucks underneath and in. Left big toe presses solid into the mat. Open up the right chest. Extend the right arm out. Option if you want more to take that left arm and reach that out as well. Just keep those bottom left ribs turning and rotating underneath and in. 
Good, left hand down, right arm up, inhale. Right hand, right hip, get your block ready if you want it. Half moon, balancing pose. Right arm all the way up to the sky with the breath flowing deep in and out through the nose. Strong and sturdy in the bottom leg. Option to pin the back right foot in. And grab that with that right hand. Japasana variation. Love the balancing poses because they demand all of your attention. You can't be thinking about other things other than what's happening right here, right now. There's freedom within that. Right leg back, right arm to the sky, little bend in that left knee, and then float step back. Warrior two, boom. Reverse the warrior inhale, cartwheel the hands down, plank pose, side plank. Roll onto the outer edge of that left foot. Reach that right arm up. You can modify this by dropping your left knee down. Otherwise, right leg up, right foot bends in, right hand reaches back. Maybe you grab the foot, maybe you don't. Maybe it's not quite there, that's okay. Wherever you're at, make sure you're not proud about it but also make sure you're not frustrated about it. Just be with it without putting story and drama into it. Now, right leg back, right arm up, inhale. Set the right hand down, exhale. Three more yogi style push-ups. Inhale, it's week two, you guys. Exhale, press up. Inhale, no excuses. Exhale, don't give up. Inhale, cause you're the champion. Exhale, rise. Now hold there, inhale, plank. And exhale, lower slow. Inhale, sweet cobra. Exhale back, down dog. Huge inhale through the nose. And out the mouth, exhale, let it go. Woo. Take an inhale, press back. Release the knees to the mat. Crawl the knees forward. Cross the feet behind you. Plant the feet flat on the ground, about the width of the hips, knees to the sky, hands behind you, fingers forward, lean back onto the hands. Inhale, upward table, and exhale, lower down. Two more, inhale, lift, and exhale down. One more time, inhale, lift, and exhale down. Good, now open your hands out a little bit wider, balancing on your fingers, bring your legs together, lift your legs up and off the ground. Now lower the heels down on an inhale, and lift the legs up, exhale. Four more, inhale, and exhale up. Three more, inhale, little lower abdominals, exhale up. Inhale down, exhale up. Inhale down, exhale up, hold there. Put a little bend in the knees. Shift the weight slightly forward. Reach those arms straight out in front of you, setting up for the boat pump. You ready? Let's pump the boat. Inhale halfway, exhale up one. Inhale, exhale two. Inhale, exhale three. Inhale, don't forget to smile. Exhale four. Good reminder for myself, exhale five. Hold there, work the legs towards straight. Last five, four, three, two, one. Release all the way onto your back. Ah, cross the right leg over top the left and then lift and grab the outer edges of your feet or the backs of your thighs. We call it reclining shoelace. Take the feet, spread those out away from each other. Draw the thighs down towards the belly and get deep into the hips. As you slow the movements and the breath back down. Oh, that was a good one today. Good, and then we'll take that into a twist, right arm out to the right. Let the knees fall gently over towards the left, releasing any last unwanted tension out of the lower back.
both knees back up to neutral, unwrap the legs, and then drape the left leg over top the right. This might feel pretty bitter for a lot of you out there. I know it did for me in the beginning, but eventually the bitter transformed into sweetness. The bitterness you feel is tension and atrophy. But once you get blood flow into those areas that haven't been exposed, then the body starts to feel amazing. It's like a massage. As you're ready, twist it to the other side, left arm over to the left, take the knees to the right. knees back to middle, unwrap the legs. You made it. Shavasana. Extend the legs, the arms. Take a last final big inhale through the nose. And out the mouth, exhale, let it go. Huh. Nice and easily draw the knees and the thighs back into the belly. Gently rock and roll your way up to a final seat. Both hands to prayer. May you live with a healthy body and mind. May you awaken the power inside. And may you live life with wisdom purpose and meaning. Stay empowered. Namaste. All right, you guys, on the journey to empowerment, there are no excuses. Keep showing up, keep pressing play, do what you can. You're doing an amazing job, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow.